Assalamu alaikum everybody. Good morning, sabah al khair. I wish you all the best today. I wish you to make the success. Your success today could change the history, not only for Somalia, but for humanity. Because today we are trying to prove one thing, the only thing, your voice should be the voice to be listened to. Your action should be the action which should be recognized. Your input should be the input that everybody else will follow. Because this is our country called Somalia, this is our land, this is our culture, this is our history, this is our ability, this is our vision, this is our drive. Today we tell everyone and each one, governments, non-governments, organization, individuals, corporations, that the solution should be Somali, that the vision should be Somali, and that actually the sustainability should be based on our ability to make it, because we can make it. I personally believe in you, that you have the power, you have the vision, you have the drive to save the problem of Somalia once and forever. No success will happen by excluding you. No success will happen by, by mar marginalizing you. No success will happen by ignoring you. Now we talk about our civil society. Somali civil society. Somali voice. Somali direction. And Somali human resources. It's not only about politics. It's not only about security. It's not only about military activity. It's about us as civil society. No solution will happen or be sustainable without having a stronger civil society in Somalia. Somali civil society is a Somali solution for the Somalia problem, for the whole region, for the whole area. Today we need to achieve it and we will achieve it because I personally believe in you. I'm sorry I could not be able to be with you today because of having medical reason in UK. But I'll be with you in the second meeting and the third meeting and the fourth meeting, inshallah. And I would love to see that your recommendation you can make today will be given to ministers, to presidents, to prime ministers and to key stakeholders. So we'll be able to sort out the problem of Somalia once and forever. We cannot afford to have a famine every other year. We cannot afford to have all these problems happening to our people. We are here talking to the Somali diaspora community. You are there talking to the Somali community. So we have to come together to look at one objective, one Somalia, not one tribe, one Somalia which includes every and each tribe every and each culture, every and each voice, and every and each faith in Somalia, or school of thought of Somalia. Don't look about us as individuals, or as tribes, or as clans. Look at us as one united Somalia. One united Somali voice. And if we want to make history today, we we'll deliver this voice to Istanbul next month, in a united front, to tell them we can do it, the least we can accept that we can become partner. So you have to listen to us for this our problem and this our solution. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.